This is basic and advanced maintenance for the OP core in the CS3. First thing we need to do is remove the OP core from the marker. Simply lift up the back cap, give it a twist and slide that out and then the marker can be placed to one side. Always need a cloth or a microfiber. I'm going to start by removing all the old grease from the external O-rings. Everything you wipe and clean down. And the first thing we're going to do is the basic maintenance. Really just involves removing the can and the bolt. Again, we'll take off the old grease and the bolt guide. We'll push out the bolt, press down from the top, it'll just slide out. And we're just paying particular attention here to this number 17 O-ring around the inside. This is the O-ring that seals around the main body of the bolt. This O-ring will often pull in dirt and debris. Uh, it'll pull in fluff from the fluffy paint uh, or you know any dust or earth that gets into the feed tube playing in a particularly dirty environment. So I'm going to pay, pay particular attention to the inside O-ring here. Make sure that that's really nice and clean. Work around the inside with a corner of a microfiber. And of course can clean the back as well and inside. And then wipe down the bolt itself. And take off all that old grease, any dirt that that might have picked up. You can check the fingers inside on the flexible bolt tip inside there. That all looks good. Then what we can do now is start to rebuild bolt and can. We'll just take a small amount of grease on the fingertip and then we'll work that around the inside of that number 17 o-ring. Don't need a lot in there, but you want to make sure it's coated all the way around. Anything that's left, you can just look around the inside of the can. Then we're going to take a bit more grease and just push that into the o-ring back of the bolt. A little bit on the outside of the bolt. Again, don't need an awful lot, really just wetting all these surfaces. And then we can put the bolt back inside. Anything that's left, you could also put that on the inside if you want to. It's not essential because we're going to put some grease around the bolt guide. You can wipe off any excess from the tip of the bolt if you like. Doesn't really need that much on there. And then just going to again put a little bit of grease around these two number 13 O-rings, the bolt guide. Don't really need this 13 at the back here is just a bumper that doesn't need any grease on it. Uh, and this is just a static O-ring. It doesn't really need any grease on it at all. Um, in fact, without grease, it will help prevent the two parts coming in screw drawn use. And just slide that back on and screw it back on and we just screw it on until it's just metal touching metal we don't need to use the flats to try and tighten it down literally just screw it on until it stops and that's all that's required obviously you can check everything is moving freely and that is all that's required for the basic maintenance of the op core and the cs3 if you do want to go and do a slightly deeper dive into the internals first thing to do again is remove bolt can. We've already greased those so we don't need to do that again. Now we can take grease off there and we can just remove the joiner bolt guide. You don't need to break these two pieces apart from each other. It's fine to just leave those screw together but if you do want to take them apart they do just unscrew when you put it back together just make sure that you 
have these two parts. We have metal touching metal there. This gets the overall length. So in the two shoulders need to be touching each other here. Let's get the overall length of the drive train correct when we rebuild it. Clean all grease off the main spool. It's all cleaned up. Obviously we have spool spring and spring guide there. We're left with the switch inside the switch body. Just need to pop something in there and slide that out. Again, I'm going to take the old grease off inside and outside and also from inside the switch body. It's all cleaned out. Now what we can do is start rebuilding the drivetrain. One O-ring that is very easy to miss is there is a 6x1.5 O-ring on the inside front of the bolt guide. In order to grease that one, you're going to need to put a bit of grease onto the end of a hex key. Just work that around. That internal o-ring there. That's the o-ring that seals around the stem, the tip of the spool. So that's done, you can place that to one side and then we'll go from the back and we'll do the two o-rings on the switch. Again, just a light coating on those. Do the two o-rings on the back of the spool. The O-ring at the front of the spool, or towards the centre of the spool here, that, that is actually a face seal. Uh, it's not a spool seal, it doesn't slide in and out, it just comes up and, and meets a face, so it doesn't actually need any grease on it. Um, just put a little bit of grease on the end of that, that's the one that goes through the O-ring in the centre of the bolt guide. Once you've got those two parts greased, put the um, spring, the spring guy back in. Slide that inside there, and then the whole assembly can get pushed inside the switch body. Just hold those in place. I'll slide the joiner and ball guide back on. And just again screw those until we have a metal to metal on the joiner switch body. Same here. Just check that's working by pushing on the end of the spool. Then just like we did before, a small amount of grease on two number 13s, bolt guide. And then we can put the can of bolt back on. Again, screw in until it stops. Don't crank these together. Just screw until it stops and that's fine. Then just to help reassembly, just a small amount of grease on the external o rings, just to help it slide back into the body smoothly. Once all that is done, a marker. And before we reassemble the drivetrain back inside, while we've got the drivetrain out, use a fluffy, we can clean all the way through, that'll clean any dirt and debris, old paint out of the breech. And also clean the inside of the main body, take the old grease out of there. And then we can slide the drivetrain back in, make sure the back cap is lifted up, push it all the way in, put the back cap down. And that is the OP Core basic and advanced maintenance for SCS3.